Hi everybody. So this is the next unboxing that I was gonna show you guys uh, with my Jump to Boost mobile, and this phone is my phone. This is the Hydro Icon by Kyocera. So a couple of reasons why I chose this phone is one, it is uh, water resistant up to 3.28 feet for 30 minutes in water, and uh, it's uh, it has an impact resistant screen and uh, shock absorbent so it's durable for when you drop it and everything else and in my old age I'm getting clumsy so I wanted a phone that I knew could withstand a lot of beating and um, you know just my absent mind you know mine when I like, jump in the water at a pool and yeah so <laughs> anyways the Hydro Icon this phone goes for $99 right now at Radio Shack uh, currently goes for $149.99 retail value and it is a great phone I like it so far as you know uh, Radio Shack opens everything they will not let me take this home and just set it up myself so this is not a true true unboxing but just more of like what's in the box and like uh, first impressions okay so um, yeah, you have all this stuff. Basically, Android 4.3 Jelly Beans, certified water resistant and dust resistant, military grade shock protection, 3G, 4G, and enhanced LTE, which is uh, Sprint Spark uh, compatible. Uh, smart sonic receiver technology, edge to edge, 4.5 inch QHD impact resistant display, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, 8 megapixel front uh, rear facing camera, and a 2 megapixel front facing camera wireless charging and NFC capable so uh, there's a the phone right there let me just go ahead and uh, pull the packaging out and uh, show you guys what's inside well what already fell out was your get started uh, guides you know we'll open that here in a second so you guys can see what comes inside but removing the uh, package one-handed sorry for the shakiness okay so here is the device itself and all its glory let me just move that out the way well let's open this up here so in your quick start guide basically um, I really don't want to rip that okay all right, so you got your user manual, which is always good to read this. So I'm actually going to read through this and uh, put that off to the side. Uh, important information and your handy recycling bag to recycle any old devices. So uh, let's open this packaging up. And it's so weird because even though it's been opened, it has some really good grip. So anyways, uh, yeah, this is what we have inside over here. We have the phone itself. So put that off to the side. And we have the battery, which is... Huh. Let go. Oh, put it all back in and it just all wants to get stuck. So, it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery. And, uh, you get your, uh, your power brick. Let me put that off. I don't want it to fall. Ah, uh, I have butterfingers today. What the heck? And stay and your USB cable. Wow. I didn't have I didn't have this much of a problem one-handed with the LG Volt. So, let me throw that off to the side. Throw that right there and let's open up the device. So, it does have uh, NFC and wireless charging. And the battery goes in this way. By the way, this too, also like the LG Vault, I guess they're starting to do it now. Uh, your SD card goes above your SIM card, so you guys can kind of see my SD cards poking out right there. 
and the SIM card underneath it. So now they stack it. So it's like all in one area. And there's the backing. Now this uh, closing this device is a little bit different because you want to create a waterproof seal. So you uh, besides pushing, well, let me back out. But besides pushing all along the edge, you also want to push right there where there's this hole. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. You want to push there and make sure you get a good click, and that makes the device waterproof. And now it's powered it on. Uh, I already did the update so when you first buy this device it does have a firmware update but it doesn't change it to KitKat it's still 4.3 Jelly Bean but I think it fixes a couple of the bugs that it had uh, one bug that I did have was call echoing so uh, not for me like on my end when I call people I don't hear that but I guess when people talk to me uh, they can hear themselves echoing on their devices so I think that was the issue that was corrected by the firmware. Um, so it feels really good. Uh, it's not really heavy, but it's not like super light, like it's like cheap or anything like that. And let me unlock the device. And I threw the uh, Google Now launcher on here because the stock launcher, I don't really like it. But everything works uh, tip top. Everything's pretty cool. I believe the. Um, there we go. 3G popped up. I have 3G right now. Normally I get LTE, but uh, one thing I will do a comparison speed test between uh, Boost and Virgin Mobile. But I gotta say that the network speeds on Boost is a hell of a lot faster than Virgin Mobile. So let's see. Uh, that's my little battery uh, widget. He's freaking out. Okay, Google. Yeah. So all that stuff works on here. Um, well, actually, I can show you guys how loud the speaker is. So. Okay, Google. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Cheat mode unlocked. Unlimited free Google searches. Okay, so that's how loud the speaker is. Um, all in all, um, I'll be doing my uh, review later on this week. But I gotta say. Uh, this phone really awesome so anyways the guys that was the unboxing um, hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry for the shakiness of the camera and if you guys did go ahead and give me a like because that helps me out and uh, that'll bring more uh, content in the future and if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and subscribe for future videos including ROM reviews and root methods and yeah so I'll probably post up another video here shortly of a dunk test to show you guys. I'll stick it in water and uh, show you guys some cool features with it. But yeah, stay tuned for the review and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.